Today is Monday the 24th of the year of the Lord 2021. Now we go back, back to the ordinary time. Today is the seventh week in ordinary time. The church celebrates today the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, but also because of what Pope Benedict XVI said uh, a few years back today, we celebrate the day of prayer for China, because in China they celebrate our Lady of Shishan, which is a, a sanctuary in Shanghai, the south part of China. We pray for the church in China. We pray to Mary, the Mother of Jesus, in the advocation of, of our Lady of Shishan. And the Gospel today is taken from St. John, chapter 19, verse 25, to 34. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there whom the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then, then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side. <clears throat> Immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. So we we read in this at the beginning of this ordinary time. So yesterday with the feast solemnity of Pentecost we ended up the Easter time. Now we go to the ordinary time. We will continue reading the Gospel the Gospel of Mark. But today because this this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary by the church or Our Lady of Sheshen, the Gospel is about Mary at the end. It's Mary that was given by Jesus to his beloved disciple as his mother. In this Gospel, the Church always recognized the motherhood of Mary. Why the motherhood of Mary? Because so it's logic. Jesus is our brother, no? and Mary is the mother of Jesus, our brother. So Mary, therefore, is our mother, and she intercedes for us. Remember, be Mary the mother of Jesus, be Mary the mother of us Christian, doesn't diminish the centrality of Christ. Because the only Savior of the world is Jesus Christ. The only Savior. Even Mary, the mother, his mother, was saved in virtue of his merit. He's the first person, the first woman to be saved. <coughs> but Mary somehow participates of the redemption act of Jesus by being a perfect disciple, by being Mary completely directed towards Jesus. In fact, one of the images that the old, that the first Christian used was Jesus is the sun and Mary is the moon. The moon doesn't have light in itself. The moon receives all the light from the sun and just reflects it. So Mary, everything she receives is from the merits of Jesus. And she is our mother. You have to go back to her. She takes care of us like any mother. You just look in chapter 2 of the Gospel of John when they are in the, in the Cana, when Mary tells Jesus they don't have wine. And Jesus does what Mary says at the end. Mary is there. And Jesus is great because he had a great mother. So let us go back to Mary, mother of Jesus. And today, let us pray for China. The Christians have been persecuted there. There is no religious freedom at the end. You know, it's a very difficult to, to be a Christian in China. And China needs our prayer. China needs to listen to Christ. And you know, Christianity arrived in China, I think, in, this, in the 8th or 9th century. 
they found in Beijing signs of the early Christian presence. So Christianity has been in, Vietnam, in China for 12 centuries or so, but still they are a minority. The Chinese have the right to listen to the good news of Jesus Christ. So today, as by the wish of Pope Benedict XVI, let us pray for China. Our Lady of China, pray for us. And we pray for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Shenzhen, Mother of China, pray for us. Have a blessed Monday.